Uh, so Sanjay, you you were talking about thoughts, um, and and what you suggested was that these thoughts they just come and go, and uh, I remember this Moji was saying uh, the thoughts are like tourists. You don't need to be a hotel, you know. The tourists actually they come and go. Or sometimes he, he, oh, yes. he was using he was using this example, thoughts are like like birds. Um, and then you know, if you feed the birds, they keep coming. No, but but the point is, uh, Sanjay, you see, you you cannot dispel the thoughts completely because some thoughts are necessary or rather your brain function to to you know when you get up you go and brush your teeth and then you know wash your face and maybe you plan your date you know these are very very basic things that happen in uh, one's life and they are also driven by thoughts uh, they are also and then you have other thoughts you know, the thoughts about your life story, thoughts about your future, thoughts about your children, thoughts about... Now, what you said about these thoughts, say, thoughts arising on someone with whom you have a relationship, may not be just thoughts. I mean, they are, they are, they are just thoughts. They, may, they, they are not... Emotions. Really true. They are emotions, yeah. But the thoughts that are necessary for, for this, whatever you do, Day to day, if you are thirsty, you will go and have a glass of water. How do you differentiate these two? I mean, uh, the body would body would drive us to do whatever the body needs. I mean, the, I mean, uh, uh, thirsty. When we are thirsty, it's a signal from our body that the body needs some water. Uh, it's not something that we think and go and do. I mean, thirst itself drive us, you know, push us to, you know, accomplish it. It's not, I mean, those, those uh, are being done without a mind either. And they don't need a mind to, you know, control that. Body would tell you. As a tree grows, the thoughts are such. Thoughts are, you know, thoughts are evolved. Thoughts are, you know, being born in the ground where we think that this thoughts are being real and they i mean our history things that happened in the past i carry them as a experience i i, I would carry it with me, I mean, as a memory, even in the body, and the experience and some enlightenment, the result of the things that happened in the past, we are carrying. But that doesn't do anything with thoughts. That's there. But Comparing the past and the future is a thought, which is unnecessary. So don't deal with it. I mean, the pain in the past, which is not, not existing now, but yet the experience through the pain has enlightened me for some, some extent. I mean, we have to be happy with the experience. I mean, not 
creating thoughts about the past and worrying with the thoughts. The so life flows. Without thoughts, it flows. Uh, I, I, I think that's, that's a nice way of describing the life flows. It flows. Whether you like it or not, it, it flows anyway. It flows. Yeah, but now I'll come to a, another area which is discussed widely and I would like to get your viewpoint also. Now, a lot of uh, spiritual speakers are using a dream as an example to show the oneness or how things happen or how things appear. Now, if someone asks me personally, hey, do you think life is a dream? I will say yes, life is a dream. Why I say it, whether it is spiritually taken or rationally taken, I will say yes, life is a dream or very close to a dream because it flows and there are no doers there and there is oneness and there is no time and there is no space. It's just yeah. an appearance. And basically... Life, life is a dream. Life it, is a dream because it's that is not existing. Yeah, uh, yeah, that that's the second. Yeah, that, that that's the second point. It is a dream, but it doesn't happen either. A dream doesn't exist, now. Yeah, a dream doesn't exist. Life now, is a dream. I, yeah, I would like you to because elaborate. Because it's not, it is not existing. Right now, I want you to elaborate that because it is necessary. Because it is easy to say, yeah, life is a dream. Yeah. It everyone uses that phrase. However. The reality of a dream is that it doesn't happen. It, it never happened and it never happens. Now, please try to relate it to what you were saying, the life flow. And, okay, let me put, it, put the question differently. Now, you said it never happens. The dream is not true. Is what you are referring to as a dream is the entire appearance that is the universe, the sun and the moon and the planet and is that the planet and me and you know everything, is that what you are referring to as dream or there is universe, there are planets, there is sun and moon but what you think about yourself and your story is a dream. Which one is correct? If you, if you, if the question is not clear, I can ask you: Is the entire thing is a dream, or is only your story is a dream? Everything is real, but your you, you that think, the uh... entire story is my story. <laughs> the entire story is my story. Okay, okay yeah? I get you. yeah. Please continue because that's it's a, a dream. Yeah, this is a this is a, a bit of a, a thing which lot of members in the audience, they are stuck with this. So, if you can just elaborate, it will be very helpful. Now, to, uh, now there, are, there are different you know, definitions to dreams now. I mean, the West, the way they understand dream is, is different because they are the people who believe that the existence of a mind. I mean, people like uh, Freud, Freud uh, Carl Jung, they are, they are referring to consciousness, you know, consciousness which is not the consciousness that we, that we are discussing here. The consciousness that they are referring to something like, you know, to be aware of. Uh, it gives uh, uh, a sense. Uh, uh, like not, sense. Not really, not really uh, Sanjay, but the consciousness that uh, some spiritual speakers like Rupert Spira and Jim Newman or... Or, or, or even uh, Jeff. No, no, I'm Jeff. referring to I'm referring to Freud and you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but there are others. They for their consciousness. Yeah, no, there are yeah, there are yeah. others. There yeah, are go others. ahead. Yeah, I go mean, ahead. there are others. There are others. Everywhere there have been thousands of others everywhere, and there are and there will be others everywhere, scattered all over the universe. That share the same truth. Who knows the same truth? Exactly. 
Yeah, but please elaborate and, on but, before we miss that. I want you to but, you know, clarify. The, the, yeah. the Western way of looking at the, the traditional understanding that we have on dreams with the with the you know with the uh, the the psychology that is you know that is built with this you know Carl Jung and Freud. Uh, they have different definition to a dream. I mean. We there are different functions of dreams. I mean, there are different functions of dreams, uh, and and uh, we now here we use the term, the word dreams, to understand, to say that everything around us, including me is a dream. Yes, it is a dream because dreams are built, created through the through the through the you know through the to through the informations that we are collecting through our senses. A, a thing that a person that would have never known he would never see that in a dream. You know, that example of Carl Jung, that uh, the huge moon and 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 the sex organ of a, of a person that a man uh, said that he dreamt last night. He thought that this man has never knew the mythology in reference to, you know, the, the symbol, but he came into a conclusion that this man has seen something he doesn't know, apparently. But but we cannot say that somewhere, somehow or other, he might have seen the symbol. He might he might have you know uh, gathered the information of the symbol, and we are repeating this life. This is not the only life. We have been repeated repeat. I mean, repeating thousand and thousand million times this life. So in that, in that, you know, in that path, in that, in that, you know, circular spiral way of existing, we might have gained the experience somewhere, somehow or other. So that is how they experience it. But according to me, yes, it is a dream because it is made out of it is not real because it is made out of the informations that we have gathered through our limited senses. So it's not something that is existing. The dream doesn't exist. And the dreamer, even the dreamer, I mean, dreamer doesn't exist as well. I mean, where is a dreamer to dream? So we, when we, you know, dreams are, you know, throughout the history of human civilization, the concept dream has been, has been doing, you know, a vital role. I mean, even to enlighten people, you know, I mean, it's like a software that is entered into, into our system to balance to clarify, I mean, to forgive us, to reorganize us, to cool us. I mean, it's something like a software that we have created. I mean, it's something balancing the pain of the pain of the existence. I mean, things that we can cannot achieve in the real life. Have been given to us in a dream, and we are satisfied in the dream. Once we are, once we are, you know, awakened, we are satisfied because we have enjoyed that in a dream. So, enjoying things in a dream, satisfying our, you know, senses. If that is a possible thing that has 
as already happening in a dream that is the trickiness of the illusion you know we see a illusion in the illusion to balance the illusion uh, i mean uh, that is Sanjay, what Sanjay, uh, dreams are now, doing yeah now the we are using a dream as an example to describe the existence it's so that's why i said even i would say this is a dream because um everything that you find is very uh, similar to what we experience in a dream now then you said remember the dream is not true it is not actually happening then when i raised the question you said this entire thing is your story it's not there is something else there and your personal story is real no the entire thing is a, is now my question is if this whole thing and an illusion including yourself including your story including what is experienced then this whole thing comes to an end that that will be the end of search isn't it because there's there's nothing to yeah. search there after but but you nothing you, to search yeah but then you need to see through this you need to accept the fact that you are you are just a, you are just a passenger isn't it in the dream you are, you are. yeah we can't do that uh, yeah i we know we can't do that i mean a tree doesn't accept itself that is it is in the nature now he, does, he it doesn't have to you know it doesn't has to accept that because she is it so deviation the de i mean this this i mean this issue is they are only with human it's it's only with human and the world that are created according to the acts of human beings the 31 layers of existing you know people who needs to be live long by trying that can reach a world where they can exist for a long time and even that heavens and the hells are created by us even they might, i mean the whole existence can be you know understood in that way i mean i have created 31 layers of this existence i have created brahma loka deva loka and apai too because i believe that there is something existing once somebody realizes that there is nothing existing all these worlds disappears at once the hell disappears because the hell is created in my mind with thoughts because we think the existence is real in thoughts i mean let let you know ignore the thoughts i mean it's in vain dealing with them they are not a part of it. <laughs> they are not a part of being they are they are the illusions that we are created by by believing and, and by being in need of the ever existing existence we are looking for ever existing existence 
which has created all these worlds that thought has to be let flow and try you know and try not to try of losing yourself now we have to try not to try of this you know of this loose i mean i mean that, that is how we can think of it i mean this is illu this is an illusion for real not as a fact Yeah, everything, including me and you and the cell phone that we are using, and everything around us, is not existing for real. It's not a knowledge, even though we knew it, know it or not. Even though we are aware of it or not, that is what is happening. That is what is exactly there. nothing else um uh, so, when when you see when you are dreaming whatever that happens in a dream is real because you taste you feel and you get angry you become sad everything is real so that's why people are using dream as it. now i like this word maya because now for someone to see now when you are in a maya you are always caught because everything that you see when everything that you look around is real including the time and the space mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. i go before a mirror i can see my body and i can see my body is growing and in comparison with that i can see everything else is also growing my friends my relations also and if i plant a tree i can see the tree is also growing so that the time becomes confirmed so maya actually it is a perfect maya and there is no way out because there is no way you can you know say look you know this is these are true there's no way you can say this is not true because everything is perfect now if you are mm. driving your car yeah. when you are driving your car some day the car had to be manufactured by someone mm. and then you will go and buy then you use it yeah. and after a while then the repairs come and they, so it's it's mm. it's a perfect flow it's a very perfect flow mm. and mm. then you know so so this illusion okay i'll 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 ask you a stupid question now say today i get up and when i get up i am in sri lanka and tomorrow when i get up i am in singapore or japan then when i get up in japan i say ah yeah this is an illusion no i don't know what is happening because yesterday i was in sri lanka today now it's a very stupid way of saying that but this never shows like that this is a perfect illusion in the yeah. sense you can't it's like a magician when the magician does something you think it's real but then yeah. you have to find the trick so similarly mm -hmm. if the experience that you are describing is an illusion if it is a dream where is the escape point there, now see <laughs> just look at the screen i mean you are there in the yeah. screen at this corner of the screen you are there and i am there yeah i see myself there and live talking and you are there uh, but is the thing that is in the screen real well yeah i mean but and, apparently uh, real i mean we both are there on the screen too is the screen real i mean is what we see on the screen is real it's not real it's maya yeah it appears to be real yeah 
it appears to be real and the people the person that would go through this discussion later would see that we are there but we are not there i mean that is what is happening i mean now to think that i am there and talking here to you who are in the, the other corner of the world uh, this what we see is an illusion but what is happening here is not what is happening here is we are sharing we are sharing something you know we are sharing something widely essential not for us both but for entire universe i mean we are tuning some frequency that is apparently you know apparently appears you know appears to be a person talking to another person through through a device that is what is seen by us but what's really happening here is we are sharing some enormous you know unshareable feeling in a wave format i mean i mean that's what really happening this is what we see that is happening here i see that i am talking but but all what i feel is something flows through me and that is the bond that we both have between us not that not this technical link i mean this is what we see but there is something else happening you know when we, when we feel hungry i i think that i go and eat but that's not true I mean, that's that, yeah that's because that's a, that's a post thought you know okay the post thought i felt and yeah. we think when if we think that we are breathing we are not lungs does that so <clears throat> the the world is not what we see there is a you know there is a huge you know the field everything everything as a collective consciousness is in a process of cleansing everything as a total consciousness i mean cleansing itself towards buddhahood i mean yeah but individual so i mean not... individual will never understand that no it because the the that, individual yeah. cannot... now you Until you said until some... unless the individual is there nobody can understand this this is yeah. not to be understood yeah you said something very very this valid this is not to be known you said it is collective consciousness which is in the process of cleansing towards yeah the hood towards nirvana towards yeah, you know this how it has uh, i mean i don't know any other way to transmit that you know yeah this is very well once, because once i say one once i say towards yeah that the is all the wrong us. yeah 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 exactly now yeah. now this is also uh, now we came to this point and if this is seen that this is just oneness and in that oneness what can be talk about is only love metta that's all there is because 
if there is oneness, you can't have separations, right? And it is also beyond what is right and wrong, beyond what is good and bad. It's beyond judgment also, right? Yeah. There is not there, there is nothing called good and bad. There is there is nothing called good and bad. Because nothing exists. In the first place, yes. Yeah, this culture, this is the issue. I mean, this culture, this culture, the civilization, culture is, you know, evil. That is evil. The foundation of his evil. Culture. I mean, nature is our nature, not the culture is our nature, but now culture has, has been our nature. We are not cultured, I mean, we are natural. But now we have, for ages we have been trying to be cultured. Now we are cultured and we are we are trying to adjust these illusionous selves according to a culture which these illusional I feels that is safe. I'm safe in the culture if I go in according to the culture. If I go, I'm not at a risk. So the culture is tied us so, so, you know, so happily that we have become cultured, cultural beings. But our nature is nature. We are natural beings. We are created. We have been evolved in such a way that carries a, an enormous beauty in its nature. Now we can't imagine of that incorrupted virgin humanity, nature of the humanity. We can't, we can't now even think of it because we have gone far, far away from our root by being cultured. Now, now this... Culture. Yeah, I know, but but these, the appearance, I, I would you I, I mean, I would rather use the word appearance because then we are, both of us are safe because otherwise, now, appearance of... Uh, you see, I'm glad that we discussed this without bringing religions, but just to just to touch on this now the appearance of jesus christ um and then where there is this uh, the lady who was to be stoned to death and then jesus came in between and said if there is anyone who has not sinned you know can cast the first stone now that example then if you take the buddha you know where even uh, the story of ambapali who who lived on prostitution and they were accepted. Now, this, but these are mundane, you know, what we call mundane examples, you know. But these mundane examples reflect the nature of that origin that you are talking about. And that is nothing but metta, that is nothing but love. Would you agree with me when I say that? I mean, these yeah, examples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely, yes. I mean, that was the the nature of both of them. I mean, they were nobody. I mean, they they were love. I mean, the the outer appearance of the Buddhahood was love. The Buddha was, you know, appeared in love. 
that is how we see him that was how the people at that time you know observed him by by the acts of love people so only only his loving deeds and words he was love himself even jesus i mean he said i mean he he gives a clear definition Sanjay, we have an interruption. Vijay, the, who is not in good terms with you, they love you, your enemy. Yeah. And, you know, and keep, you know, no barriers, no judgments, no revenge, nothing. I mean, if if you can love your enemy, that is something great. To walk the extra mile without thinking of anything that you gain. He said, love as I loved you. And he died on a cross. That is how he loved. Uh, By losing himself uh, Sanjay, uh, now now take the two levels uh, on which these two um, the gave messages. Now the one was that I just mentioned about this, the extent to which they were ready to offer the maitri or love. I mean, you 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 can't differentiate people. We extend metta. We extend love. That is the. That's why I gave those two examples. Um, now the second level of, or what we call lokotra, or getting people to think from a different perspective, is that um, Jesus Christ. I remember in in Matthew's, he has mentioned, uh, lose yourself to find yourself. Now that can't be understood yeah. with language. That can't be understood. Yeah. Like, lose yourself. But that is exactly what you were describing. And if you uh, look at some of the sutras, even even this very second sutra, Lord Buddha was describing Anatta Lakkana Sutra, the nature of no self. And there are, there are this message, as you said, the message being communicated, not, not the person, the message being communicated shows, hey, hey, look, this is not really true. What you think is not true, but look at it from a different point of view. So, so, so you can see the, the, the two levels, what we call the love kicker level and the lokotra level. Both you can see this powerful message of love and metta being mm. circulated, you know, in this, this universal thing. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah now, now see... I I think something very beautiful in 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 those two two you know uh, uh, two, those two you know religions or whatever it is uh, because you know now uh, Buddha was in a land where the meditation has been practiced for years. He was in a land where the philosophy was existing, where the deepest questions of existing have been er erosed, you know. He was in a land of that sort. I mean, a spiritual, philosophical land. He was there. And he 
he he was teaching the way that he achieve the utmost enlighten enlightenment in bit of a philosophical way wish the people in that part of the world can be understood so it was it was philosophically said it was technically said the way of losing some losing a person a way of losing existence a way of attaining nibbana whatever it is he has taught the people of the 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 era of a methodical philosophical a uh, a uh, deeply scientific way of way of releasing oneself from itself the other side of the world the desert area where the philosophical development was not not into you know that developed into that extent who were basically basically you know basically practicing rituals and all they are not that philosophical he told them another lesson a easy one he said and at and the at the end of what is achieved by going through the teachings of buddha what he have he has achieved once somebody achieved there his entire nature becomes love and he was he was appeared as love and every deed every words flow from that fountain of love at the end now jesus proposed the other part the, the people of the other part of the world he proposed an easy way he says the other way love 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 in the way he says not the way the world says love so that you will you will you know you will overcome of this thing called a person the ego i by loving somebody can somebody can you know get rid of eliminate by loving somebody can you know wash away the self by loving it's comparatively an easy way of doing that and what a buddha practices was love that is the other way of Jesus suggests to practice the to practice the the fruit the to practice the result so that you may lose the root he says go through this and achieve the ultimate end where you become love so the love is the only thing wish will be able to satisfy us by by losing us by 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 ex, by realizing us the lose is the only way of being 
Uh, you you made a point. I think you made a a point where sometimes, for example, uh, let me you you correct if I'm wrong now. On the one hand, you can start you start analyzing your thoughts, start analyzing yourself, start analyzing your sensation, uh, your uh, emotions, your feelings, and then. In that analysis, you can see how much metta, how much metta that is generated. If if it is not metta, you can ask yourself, hey, why is this? If it is a, a, a thought which is based from hatred, for example, for anger or sadness or something, you can ask yourself, how can that, if this is the nature is like. Then you also suggested the outcome, you start with the outcome that is nothing but love. Then you be with the outcome and you push people to be with the outcome and then by doing so, you are pulling the root. So either way, it is to see the reality or the true nature of existence which is nothing but metta yeah. and love. Love is love is to be understood not in that manner. I mean, love is what it is. Love, I don't. I, I'm not referring to the meaning of the word. That is yes, yes. That is that is given. Yeah. You know, it's it's. It's not a quality of a person. No, no, I, I, I got you. I got you. Done but, by a person. Yeah, because it's it's a for example, it's not that you are extending it. It is just that the the seeing that this is this is it. This is it. I mean other than that. I mean, there is no achievement, there is no end, <clears throat> there is nothing that will, that will, we will gain at the end of this journey. Nibbana, I mean, this is discouraging. Most of the people of the world, this is discouraging. I mean, we all are looking for a crown. For a medal, for a for a victory, for for achieving something, for gain something, to go to Nibbana, to be in the heaven. We are all, I mean, this is discouraging. To say that I can never enjoy heaven. Because heaven appears when I am not there. I can as I cannot as a person enjoy Nibbana because Nibbana Nibbana comes into being when I am not there. So this might be this might be you now discouraging to say that I am not going to gain anything at the end might discourage the people who are in search of. So they might go somewhere else to search something else that would do something for them at the end. But don't you is... but don't you think that okay, the person who is so much indulged in this self, I have to find this, I have to do this, I have to go in search of all the but at the time of okay, the physical death, not not anything I mean. Even at the time of physical death, I suppose there is a there's a better chance, there's a better chance to see this through, isn't it? Because okay, all I have been striving to gain in my lifetime, it's of no use at the end. And probably you can't even yeah. enjoy what you have gained as wealth. You know, you, you can't even enjoy that. Yeah. All what I have been doing throughout this 
this million years is change in the formation not dying and being born again what we have been doing through ages is change in the formation this is the now we have met the end points two end points of this formation we are forming i mean we both are the are, are two ends of this never ending process of formation this is for us to time to stop this formation absolutely na i mean we have never died we need to die we need to learn to die this life is given for that because we have we have not died we have been repeating this we have been changing the formation of our being thinking that something eternal would come across in our journey this is how this ditakshan and sudrashtaka works that's it that is sansar the continuation sansar. the continuation you yeah. need to continue yeah. to think to make my son a pilot i mean that is how the sansar mm. emerges mm -hmm. you know then the person who are trying to make his son a pilot appears okay mm. and i have a target to go then the target I appears cannot... and the target appears and i am i am shifting myself from this target that i have already achieved and tried and achieved realizing that there is nothing in that target as i even though i thought that there was there would be something i mean great here it's not there is not something there is not anything that you know satisfying you so you 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 know make another target uh, uh, sanjay i must i must uh, that is how the sansar has been extended i know i I, I, now. i i want to clarify one thing because now when you say um you know how the sansara is created i want to make my son a pilot now audience uh, they they will misinterpret that they might think you know these two are now discussing something that we have to give up everything and then we have to die you know that's the mundane language with which they will try to understand but we are saying no we are in a spiritual discussion philosophical discussion this dying yeah, is yeah. dying uh, is not this physical I mean, dying yeah. we are talking about yeah we are talking at a different level yeah different level and yeah. in a different language in a different language because it's this this is something language. the language I cannot mean, uh, express what we have sorry yeah sorry. okay yeah yeah something Some happened uh, what we are proposing is so oh, what we have actually to do is to understand that there is nothing to be given up there is nothing to get hold on there is nothing to be given up so don't give up because there is nothing to be given up at least understand what creates the cycle what creates sansara what creates the continuation yeah we have never died we are repeating yeah exactly at least at least this this chance we have to take this is the high time to understand that in a country like sri lanka you know a blessed land meaninglessness the 
pain of existing. It's suffering. This is, uh, it is suffering. suffering yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is a high time to understand this and learn to die properly when the time comes. When and the you know death embraces us. We can't I mean committing suicide is an act a person does. So I'm 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 terrified by that news of yeah. committing suicide of those seven seven, you know, two, three kids, the mom and the girl and the boy. I mean, I was terrified because to make a decision to commit suicide is something does by a person and that act would never disappear yeah. the existence of a person after that particular moment of die that would continue not in a healthy way because it's a, it's a it's a rejection of yourself self is yeah. trying to reject yeah i am doing that because i think i am existing i mean to to attain some spiritual state by dying by committing suicide thinking the i mean believing in the existence of a person i mean to to make a decision to end my life myself i should be there it is an act by myself which creates sansar because the act of committing suicide is based on the belief of the existence of a person. So what, what liberation would it gives you? I mean, these are, I mean, life is to just live. I mean, life is to be just spend. It is to, it is there to, you know, we can't live. A person cannot live. The life flows. The moment you realize that I mean, you, are, you are living a life and this is your life, is my life. Yeah. And... And everything is happening yeah. to me and I have to do everything, then the suffering starts. Yeah, this is the time to stop this living. I mean, I mean, if we miss this chance, we have become sold after a long period of time, we have become sold. So don't be selfish, don't be self-centric and become salt again and go to a kitchen of somebody. We have become salt after a, a, a huge bundle of suffering in order to dissolve ourselves in the ocean. So that I might become, I, I, I might lose myself to become the ocean by being the ocean, the entire universe, by, be, by being losing myself. So we are that soul now. So we should not go back again to a curry of a person. Uh, 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 you know, we should not start that way again. The time has come for us 
you know, to to win death by buying by by dying by dying you might not face the death again because life is death death is life two ends so so this is the time don't waste this i mean i mean we should not waste this we have we have we have done done unimaginable you know sacrifices to win this state where we can understand the illusionist nature of everything this is this is what we have gained after a, after a tremendous sacrifices i mean we have gone through agonies to gain this we have been we have been asking for this we have been longing for this we have been waiting for ages to win this because this is the only formation where the formation feels the formation is an illusion this is the only four so we should not this this life is to learn that yeah i think i think the importance yeah, yeah this importance of the message is that i mean it's a very rare i you can't even say rare it is it is like i don't know once in a billion yeah. chance that you get this to dissolve in the ocean yeah. and then you are done you know that's uh, you are you are immeasurable i mean i mean that's why jesus said you know the kingdom of heaven is already there and it start out there and then buddha said i am here to talk about suffering and to alleviate you from suffering i mean what more yeah. i mean that that's that's a kind of message that is uh, yeah. that is being ignored they both deep they, they both both what they both did was opening the eyes from darkness to light they didn't do anything else they didn't do miracles miracles occurred out of the love that they were that they were miracles were not the miracles that we think the miracles happened out of love only love was the magic love was the magic i mean i mean they both have given us the exp i mean the, the example they have opened our eyes to see that this is darkness even though we call it light we call this light darkness would never become light by calling it light absolutely darkness yeah. mm. is this i mean yeah. they the, the 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 very reason for the crucifixion of jesus the very reason was that he said repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand now here at hand it was elsewhere then it was somewhere else then it was somewhere to reach it was somewhere to somewhere to go through the priests it was somewhere to 
preach only to temple because it was somewhere else elsewhere he said no the kingdom of heaven is here now at hand that is the only reason that was there to crucify jesus he has he has it done nothing not, else it was not mm -hmm. acceptable yeah yeah because, uh, it was a paradigm shift it was not what we heard here now that that particular statement is not that dangerous for us today because we have gone through that because at that particular time but at that time when we go to the time and see what he said drastically radically changes the notion that they had towards life the kingdom of heaven which they have created through the ages culturally religiously verbally was collapsed at once with that with that statement to say the kingdom of heaven is at hand repent repent is to is to change the way that you see things repent repent at what you have done up to now and change yourself open your eyes samaditti exactly i i think uh, uh, sanjay we we have come to a nice point to to end our session because um, uh, open your eyes samaditti i think that that's a nice way to end and i i hope to discuss with you next time uh, sanjay on this uh, rumi's uh, rumi's way of uh, telling people and that yeah. is also important yeah. so i will fix he the, the next best session. lover yeah so i will fix the, the next best session. lover i have ever met yeah so i would like you to you know uh, base our next discussion on rumi's and rumi's quotations and yeah. because i think uh, yeah. some are very striking some quotations are very striking and uh, uh, and we will do that so uh, sanjay thank you very much for joining me and we will we will have the discussion someone somewhere will listen to this i don't know it, yeah. uh, it doesn't this matter i mean yeah. i mean i mean uh, i enjoyed the conversation with you that is the exactly. only thing that i enjoyed yeah this is uh, you know we you just know. publish this and whoever with uh, gets the message and i think our purpose is served so sanjay we will uh, uh, stop the recording now and then we will meet again for another uh, discussion on uh, this type of a topic thank you very much okay